everybody, it's your girl LT of Bell in the ATL, and as promised, I'm giving you guys an update on my juice fast. Uh, I am so excited, I'm full of energy, um, gosh, I don't know where to start. I didn't plan this video, I just wanted to give you guys um, an update, so let you know where I was. So, I'll just jump right into it. Um, <clears throat> I told you all that I was going to do a 30 day, I think I said that in my last video, not 100%. But I am happy to report that today's day 25, and I'm actually going to gun for 40 days. Um, and even more so, I said <clears throat> to myself, if I was able to make it to 40 days, I might even do 60 days. However, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and as you know, um, most people be out celebrating on Valentine's Day, and I'm going to be one of them, okay? So what I'm actually going to do is... I'm going to come off my fast for two days, two or three days. Um, actually, the day before Valentine's Day hits my 40-day mark. I'm so excited. Yay. Um, and from that point, I will decide whether I'm going to um, come off for two or three days um, just to give my body, uh, I guess, get it back into eating mode. Um the day before, which is my 40th day, be, uh, because I started um, 6 o'clock on that first day, I started my juice fast. I'm actually going to start weaning myself back into food um, by eating some soup. And um, so my whole day after 6 o'clock, I'm going to have two soups. I'm going to make this um, chicken soup with light chicken in it, just little bits and bits and pieces of chicken and broth um i'm gonna put some veggies in it as well and just little bits and pieces I, i'm getting a little chop machine probably gonna do that today or this weekend get a little chop machine and chop like little pieces of uh, veggies up now um i know what you guys are thinking you know you lost the weight you're gonna jump back into it no that's not what the situation is okay so let me just explain so um, the idea of the fast was to give my body a break and also to lose weight, and I have done both. Um, so far on day 25, I have lost 26 pounds. I am so happy about that, and I know you guys are still looking for the pictures. I've been getting a lot of requests for pictures and stuff. Just be patient. I'm going to post pictures. I'm just waiting for um, the whole fast to end on my 40 day. I'm going to show pictures and updates of what I've done so far. And trust me, my fiance is the biggest critic. He's like, oh my gosh, you're not losing weight. Oh, you are losing weight. You're, using, you're losing some weight. Um, I could tell. But for the last couple of days, this man has been like, oh my gosh, babe, you are, you've lost a lot of weight. And the reason he says so, let me just say this. Even with, um, sorry guys, my edges are a little bit not my school. I'm sorry. But anywho, um, for the last couple of um i would say the last week or so my body's been going kind of like in a, a ping pong and so to speak and the reason i say that is because um i was losing weight and then i got to a plateau i think i said that in my last bit video if i didn't i probably because um i'm going to tell you guys another thing that i'm doing at the end of the video um so my body hit a plateau and plateau and at that time um, I wasn't losing any weight. I was getting very frustrated. I was like, God, I'm only drinking juice. Like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't understand why we're drinking juice. I'm drinking a gallon of water per day. Um, you know, I was doing these 30-day challenges, uh, which entails workouts with my legs, uh, my arms, um, and my thigh, my, uh, I'm sorry, my arms. Couldn't get it out. And for some reason, I was just not losing anything. And I got so frustrated. And I was like, I might as well just eat. Because if I'm not going to benefit anything from basically starving. Well, I don't even say starving. Because the juice does make me feel full. Um, then I was like, oh, I might as well just eat. you know. But what I didn't realize was the fact that my body was actually beginning to feed off of this fat. Let me explain. So doing a juice fast, I'm actually um, documenting this. And again, I'm going to explain after the, after the end of this video. 
So what happens is your body goes through these phases. So the first phase, you're going to lose a lot of weight. I mean, it's going to come off so fast. But I've learned that that's mostly water weight. We both we all have water in our body that we retain. And after a period of time, um, when you go on any type of uh, regimen, your body's going to lose a whole bunch of weight at first because it's basically just letting go of extra fluid in your body. So my second phase was um, when I hit the plateau, which is, I would say about a week ago was my second phase, because even though I was doing my little 30 day challenges, I realized that I wasn't even pushing myself. And my fiance kept telling me, look, you know, you're losing the weight. However, you're not going to see immaculate results until you actually start getting back into the gym. And even though I've been going to the gym, I've been going like maybe once or twice a week, hell, even two weeks. You know, I would wait two weeks to go to the gym. Go figure. And I'm paying for it. That's crazy. I know. But anyway, so when I got to the point where I felt comfortable enough, because I'm just going to be honest, juicing is not easy, guys. And when I tell you, it's the hardest thing that I've ever done in my life, other than having my children. It's, I mean, it, it the first couple of days, you're, you're just like, in a battle in your mind. You're, you're in a battle with your mind and your stomach. Like, look, chick, we're not used to this. So I don't know what kind of games you're playing, but we're not trying to do this right now. Um, We want to eat. That's what my stomach was telling my head. But my head was like, no, I've come so far. I just want to finish. We can do this. I was motivated. And then my fiance cooked one of my favorite dishes, and I was just going crazy. I was like, okay, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? I mean... You know, but I knew why I was doing it. I just didn't want to explain to other people because I didn't want to get frustrated within myself. I know me being, um, I guess, really defensive, I kind of sometimes take uh, criticism in any shape or form. So, past all that, fast forward to all the positivity. Um, we left the negative negativity in 2015. Never really had it, but, you know. People say what they say, whatever. So, anywho, um, and I'm so sorry, guys. I know the the video is probably going to be a little whack, and I know I promised you guys I was. I do actually have another camera, but my camera I have to get another tripod for it because one of the the little stems on the tripod broke. So I'm still using my camera for my video, but I promise you guys I'm going to do some more videos throughout the week, the coming week. And it's going to be much clearer, much better. Um, I've already got it planned. But anywho, so back to this. So with the juice fast, um, as of last week, I started seeing the weight come off. And the reason why is because I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to just soldier it out. I'm going to go to the gym. So I started going to the gym um, again. And I, was, I started going like every other day. First it was every other day. Then I started going every day. And when I tell you, my body just started, like, melting fat. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, I would wake up the next morning, and I'm, like, looking in the mirror. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I can actually see my knees now. Oh, my God. My stomach is flat. And my fiance made a joke about, oh, my God, look at you. You got abs. Okay, I see you. And I got so excited, and it motivated me even more. I went to the gym um, again, and I just started putting on a little bit more um strenuous workout I didn't want to tone yet because I'm like okay I don't want to look like a, a, a skinny fat football player if that makes any sense because I have the tendency the way my body structure and it's no, let me just say this there's no such thing as being big boned to people I mean I've done all the research I've looked uh, Google is your best friend I've looked Google, I've done research on um, people that say they're big boned because I always felt like I was big boned but I was always small until, basically until I moved to Atlanta and I started gaining weight, but, um, but it's crazy because my body was like, yo, you have been holding on to this fat for a long time, and now that it's starting to slip away, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I feel like such a... I don't know. I just feel beautiful. Other than these edges coming up right now, like I said, I'm going to, I haven't gotten my little uh, edge fix for the day. So it's too soon to be able to explain. I did it myself. Anywho, 
So it's kind of heavy though. Let me make sure it's not on the top of the bag. I thought I would do something different. But anywho, yeah. So this is just, oh my gosh. I feel truly amazing. I just can't even begin to tell you guys. And today we'll make day 25. I know when you guys probably see this video, it's probably going to be Sunday because with all the editing and everything. Um, so that would actually be day 27 for me. So three more days, I'll be at day 30. And then 10 days after that, like I said, I'm going to do my suit uh, on the 13th, 14th is Valentine's Day. Uh, fiance is going to take me out for uh, Valentine's Day. Uh, Monday, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to show you some of the recipes I have too. It's phenomenal. Man, when I tell you these recipes are healthy and they have so so the the fat is so low in them. You'll be amazed at how good these things are gonna taste. Um, but anywho, um, and look, but anywho, um, so uh, the plan is that I'm gonna do two smoothies, but I'm gonna do my smoothies last two meals of the day. And the reason being is because I've always felt like breakfast should be the most important meal of the day. That's what they say, and I believe that to be true. So I'm gonna eat a, a healthy breakfast and do smoothies. For two days after I'm sorry one day after Valentine's Day or I haven't decided maybe two days and then from that point I'm gonna go on another 10 day and doing that 10 day and the reason why I decided to do another 10 day was because as I told you guys before I started out at 256 pounds my goal is to get under a hundred and I'm closer but still you know trying to you know by the end of my 40-day journey, I should be closer than close. Um, that will be the smallest I've been since I moved. No, I won't even say since I moved to Airline. Um, I would probably say in my late 20s. Like, I, I just look back at some old pictures and I'm like, dang, man, where did that body go? Mm, mm, mm. Anywho, today is a new day and... I am challenging all of you out there to join me on my on my second juice, which starts on the either the fifteenth I haven't decided or the sixteenth. I challenge you to do a ten day with me. Trust me, I'm gonna do videos every day during that time to motivate you guys. Within those ten days, I promise you, if you don't lose ten. To 12 pounds is because you don't want to because there's no way possible trust me it's coming from me the girl who loves probably any dish in the world i will try to eat but you have to change your, your mindset your way of thinking you have to change the way that you view food food is supposed to be used to fuel your body to build your metabolism so that you can stay strong stay healthy and recirculate your body to recycle your body as far as like cleansing it what happens when food comes into your body it uses the nutrients that it needs it takes the nutrients that it do does not out the ones that are sticking onto your body that's causing you to get fat is obviously fat particles uh i'm sorry fat products high carbs there are such things called healthy carbs but there's a lot of stuff that's called non-healthy carbs okay the thing with the juice is, juice is going to give you all the nutrients that you need for your body to maintain daily. So, there's no excuse that, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't, I have to eat, I'm not, my body's weak, I'm not getting nutrients. That's absolutely false. I know a lot of times people be like, oh my gosh, she's crazy, she's been on a fast for 25 days, she needs to eat. Trust me, I had, not have. I had uh, enough fat in my body stored probably for me to last 120 days. Because I've seen people, I've read stories about people that fasted for 120 days. I'm like, there's no way in hell I'm going to be, uh, I don't even, what, five, five, six months without eating? No, that's probably not going to happen with me. But uh, mm, 40 days. 30 days, 20 days, even 10 days. You can give your body a, a break from eating. We have so much backed up food and bacteria in our bodies, it's ridiculous. 
the average person has food stored in their body from the age of six or seven. The, the goal is to cleanse your body so that when you do start eating again, you're on a healthy path to eating. It doesn't mean that you're going to not gain weight when you start eating food again because I am prepared for the fact that I'm probably going to gain anywhere from six to ten pounds back. However, the goal is while I'm eating is to exercise to maintain calories in, calories out. So if I'm putting 300 calories in my body, I need to be in the gym burning 300 calories out. Your body constantly burns metabolism, I'm sorry, constantly burns fat as long as you're exercising, as long as you're eating right, as long as you're you're um, getting the proper rest, as long as you're drinking the right amount of water per day. You can maintain that weight. Now, so far, like I said, it's been hard. It's very time consuming. I shouldn't even say time consuming because when I first started doing the juice, it was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I got a juice, I got a juice, I got a juice. However, I've broken this thing down to a science, people. Like when I tell you in the mornings, like right now in the next five, ten minutes, I'm going to go downstairs and make my juice. What I do is I cut up my vegetables, I cut up my fruit, and I juice during that time. I like my juice to be fresh. In the beginning of this thing, what I was doing was prepping. And with juicing, I learned that that is the worst possible thing you can do because, for number one, your fruits are going to get spoiled it's sitting in a bag. Fruits and vegetables are best when they're whole, not cut. So when you cut your fruits and your vegetable up, you bag them, especially in a Ziploc bag, and even put them in the refrigerator. They don't last long at all. I was throwing away like, I don't know, pounds and pounds of vegetables and fruits every other day because it's only so much your body can take. Right now, I'm I'm doing 40 ounces of juice per day, which is way more than my body needs. The average juicer would probably be 32 ounces, so I'm getting an extra 8 ounces. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up right now, right here, because I do have to juice today and um, have to get ready for my my uh, 9 to 5 grind, uh, not my business. I try to take care of that in the morning before I go to work and then in the afternoon, then uh, when I, I have to be at work. I do a little work there too, but here's the news. So this whole journey, I'm actually in the process of writing a book to journalize my experience over the years with dieting and losing weight. So I'm so excited about that, guys. Um, the reason why I haven't showed pictures is because that's part of my journey. Um, however, I am going to post pictures for you guys, for you all. Um, not today though, but um, like I said, today is day 25. Probably around day 30, I would post some pictures to show you the before and after. And then day 40, I'll show you the, the before and after. And then, um, like I said, when my book comes out, I'm going to have more detailed pictures of my weight loss and what I did. Um, and the name of the book, of course, that's the secret um, or a surprise, I should say. When I do my photo shoot for the book, I'm going to post it on the videos for you guys, too. And like I said, I'm so excited. And... Juice on juicers, the ones who are out there juicing, who joined the journey with me. I'm so excited, you guys. We're almost done. I know one of my co-workers, Maxine. Shout out to Maxine. Thank you, girl. I had to ask somebody to do it with me because I was like, oh, Lord, I have to have somebody motivate me. My mom, she actually did it in the mornings, but she was eating in the afternoon. Kudos to her. Um, and I'm sure that's just as good. If you're doing it in the morning and then eating in the afternoon, that's just as good. Um as long as you're doing something to maintain and help your body and, and be healthy, it's such a good time. So I'm going to end this video here, you guys. I'm coming up to 20 minutes, and I'm so sorry I talked your ears off, but I have so much more to say, but I don't want to extend this to 20-something minutes. So I'm going to let you guys go, and thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Um, I'm going to have the website at probably the bottom or at the top. Um, if you haven't visited my blog, it's www.abellintheatl.com. It's spelled up there. It's up there. It's up there, guys. Um, also, um, oh my gosh, I have so many new things that's coming out. Um, me and my, my fiance and I, we started, uh, branding and advertising business. Anybody who's looking for advertising, we're just, this thing has gone rocketed. Like, we're really 
trying to get we're trying to target the urban market but expand to inner cities and metro cities but for now on in atl or if you have a website that you want to display you can hit us up for advertisement the name of our um website isn't up right now we're still working on it but the name of our company is new vision digital media.com um coming soon and i'll definitely give you guys an update to let you know um braiders salon owners barbershop owners hell if you're a uh, physical uh not physical uh what's the word i'm looking for um oh my gosh a, a physical trainer we i mean numerous things restaurants uh chefs massage therapists lawn care whatever you want to do you want to advertise with us trust me this thing is it's about to rock it off um i'm coming up on 21 minutes guys so i'm gonna go ahead and shut it down thank you guys for watching um i'm gonna have all my creds at the end my website the duh and you guys have a marvelous friday today is friday you're probably gonna see this sunday but have a, a wonderful sunday as well um thanks again for watching thanks for all the support motivation you guys have a phenomenal day, awesome day. Love you. Bye.